Hey guys, welcome back to some more Critic Captain 2018 Part 3 of the Road to World Number 1 with England. And in today's episode, we have limited overs action. We are playing Scotland in an ODI. Now, Scotland actually beat us in real life in this ODI, so it's time to turn over the history books and, uh, and, and try and sort of rewrite it, if you like. But uh, this is the squad that we went for. Obviously, Broad and uh, Anderson bowled very well in the, the test match against Pakistan. So, kind of wanted to bring them in, to be honest. Um, I don't really know how to get them in. More Ali's in there as well. You know, maybe Ali comes in for Rashid? Question mark? I, I think maybe he does. Um, if we... Well, we do... Basically, we want... Joss Butler a lot higher up than than that. But also, we want Ben Stokes. Does Jason Roy have a place in the squad? Hmm. Nah, we'll stick with that. Um, and we'll have uh, Broad and Walks as our opening bowlers. That sounds good to me. Let's get into it. My first one-day international match on the game this year. So... Let's see how it goes. We're batting first, which I hate because uh, I'd rather know what we're chasing. But uh, we'll try our best, I guess. Uh, yeah. Here we go, I guess. Let's see how, how it starts. So, you know, we're aiming for six and over and already we're way behind that. That's been my problem with uh, audit, limited over stuff on the game in the past. I, I never feel like you can get a good run rate going and you know if you go much more aggressive than this then you'll you'll just get out so easily um, as we'll demonstrate right there. Whoa, that was close. But 50 for Alex Hales he's going quite nicely. We are up to 5 and over now. But, uh, you know, part of this uh, sort of mini part of the series will be to to learn how to play the, these types of games. And, and hopefully we'll, we'll get quite good at them um, at the end of it all. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Mm, not out. 100 for Alex Hill. So I'm looking at it now. How many overs are we in? 35 overs in. I think we just have to keep going for it. Uh, Bearstow's gone. Um, I think we bring in Joss Butler now. Because I think he's a better ODI batsman than Root. At this stage of an innings, anyway. Ooh, close. 219 for one. That looked like it was a no ball. I don't know. I thought I'd seen the umpire raise his hand. But no. Ah, oh, that's out. He's gone for 135. Ben Stokes, I guess, is, is who we bring in next. And, and this is a bit better, isn't it? If we can get a 300, I'd be pretty happy. Mm, don't think we're going to do that now, though. Jason Roy, prove that. Prove your worth to me, boy. Mm, Stoke's gone. Well, that's it. 290 for four. That's really not a competitive ODI at all. It really isn't. And that, that's my problem with it, unfortunately. The whole um, limited over stuff. I just feel like I can never get um, a competitive total. But hopefully, because Scotland on the best ODI team in the world, let's say, we might get away with it. Ooh, that might be out. That might be out. It is. That's a run out. McLeod gone for six. And it's now 30 for one. But they are scoring at six and over. Walks to Corza. Not quite. Broad to Barrington. Nope. 
Wolves can bowl his final over for a bit. And we'll change this now. More Nally will bring on and plunk it. Plunk it a quarter. Not quite. Plunk it again. And again. This could be a run out. Should be a run out. Is a run out. Barrington gone for 43. That's high in the air. Carver gone as well. He's out for a duck. That's two wickets in a row. Plunk it across. Ooh. Alley now to quarter. Alley again to quarter. Hmm. Stokesy and Brody. Hmm, that's not a terrific delivery. That's high in the air and it's caught. He's gone for 96. That's a big wicket to get at this stage. It's a good delivery. He's gone for 10. So they're now 5 down. They still only need 79 runs though. We need to get cross out sooner rather than later. Oh, we can just ball out all his partners. Um, Stokes is on a hat trick. Didn't quite get the hat trick, did he? But he can still get a few wickets and a few balls. Was that not LBW? I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Strange. Brought a Sharif. Brought a cross. Cross again. He's the one we really need to get out. Broad's used his permitted overs. Oops. Chris Walks. They're getting worryingly close. That's a good delivery. Oh, I thought that was out. Come on. As soon as Cross is out, you feel like we instantly go uber favourites. There's eight overs left. They only need 37 runs. With Cross still at the wicket. Oh, Plunkett's used his overs. <clears throat> Walks to Sheriff. Oh, it's a good delivery. He's gone. What a delivery. He's out for 19. Three wickets to get now. Oh, are we going to get away with it? Walks has used his permitted overs. It's now time for Moan Alley. Oh, they need one run from... They're going to win. We've been beaten by Scotland. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Ah, oh, they're a one-star team on this game. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. <sighs> Boo. Oh, come on. I don't want to pick our squad now. Oh. Right, well, Anderson's coming out. Ali's coming out. I don't think Broad... But did Broad... He did all right, didn't he? Jason Roy. Ah, mm. oh, what have we done? Now we don't want Ali Cook, do we? The problem is, I'm not really into cricket anymore. So, actually finding decent players is is tough for me. <laughs> um, right. Uh, current year. Uh, one day. Bess is doing all right. Uh, average is what... I mean, Anderson, yeah, he's only played one match, though. <laughs> My mood. Um, oh, dear. This has all gone wrong, guys. It's all gone wrong. Sam Curran, why not? Why not? Who else is playing all right? Balance is doing all right, actually. We need another bowler. Um, did we have Rashid in the... We, we do have Rashid in the squad. Oh, we've only picked 12. 
Oh, I really don't like this. Um, let's get balance in there. Um, I, d I don't want more Nally again. Can I see anybody else? Who's this guy? Chris Wood. He's 27. Go on then, get in the squad and Anderson as well. There we go, that's 15. That's that. That's fine. Um, so yeah, let's just have a look at the world ratings for ODI. So a Scotland in there. I don't. I don't think they are. I don't think our performance against them counts, which is good. I'm really happy about that. So yeah, hopefully we can we can get the number one in the world at that. We're gonna have to beat Australia to do that though, and that's rather frustrating. If you have enjoyed this episode, then make sure you do leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.